What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back in here with another triple threat reaction for y'all. And if you haven't, go check out my... I just recently dropped one today. So we're here back with another one. As I told y'all, from Friday and a little, mostly from Saturday, to be honest. Friday and Saturday, because that's what mostly nerdcore music always drop in, so... Yeah, I, like I told y'all, there's gonna be some, there was gonna be some videos dropping today, so might as well try to like put them to at least a triple threat reaction or so, or if if I have to put it as a four piece. So yeah, but hold on, first things first, gotta check. Yeah, we're recording, and you know what? I'm checking throughout every single one. So hold on, y'all gonna be in the right for this. Y'all seen everything that I do. So home look, Let's see, the bottom's good. Yeah, we Gucci, we Gucci, we good. So we better check this first. Triple thread out. We got the wolf with a buttercup wrap. Buttercup from Powerpuff Girls. And hey, yes. And I'll admit, I don't care what people say, Powerpuff Girls from Cartoon Network was fire. Don't care what you say. If y'all didn't like Powerpuff Girls, I'm sorry, but your childhood was stupid then. Because the OG Cartoon Networks, the o if you're an OG fan of the OG Cartoon Networks, like with this and such, oh yeah, you know what's up. You know the OG cartoon shows were more fire. Because more recent ones and such, they are right, but they just don't hit like how the original versions of them was. So, the OG versions of Powerpuff Girls, fire. But hey, we about to check this first one out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my Wolf. god. Sugar and spice, but I ain't that nice. Don't mean to brag, but this is my time. Beat my feet while you wait in line. Walk down the street with pep in my glide. Sugar and spice, but I ain't that nice. nice. Color is green, that's all that's in sight. My mugging oh. is. Yeah, but now that's a good. See? Because everybody. Yeah, it's like this. That's what I'm Because normally you hear sugar and spice, everything nice, but let's face it, we're buttercup. With her, nothing's ever nice because she gonna come at you with that. She gonna come she gonna come with you like she's saying that yeah, I'm that shit. <laughs> That's how and let's face it, I feel like a lot of times most girls and such was like buttercup. Where even though she got that girl even though she a girl and all she she acts like she that nick she that nigga or she that bitch. <laughs> and hey, Nothing's wrong with trying to hype you up and such, but sometimes y'all be taking it a little bit too far. Spice, say. But I ain't that nice. Don't mean to brag, but this is my time. Mm -hmm. Beating my feet while you wait in line. Walk down the street with pep in my glide. Mm -hmm. Sugar and spice, but I ain't that nice. nice. Color is green, that's all that's in sight. My mugging oh. is mean, cause they wanna try. Keep them away with that evil lie. Sugar and spice, mm -hmm. but I ain't that nice. nice. Don't mean to brag, but this is my time. Beating my feet while you wait in line. Walk down the street with pep in my glide. Sugar and spice, but I ain't that nice. nice. Color is green, that's all that's in sight. My mugging uh. is mean, cause they wanna try. Keep them away with that evil lie. Yeah. Look how I'm bubbling up, but me but boys with the waterworks what? They ain't get it then, now they see the purse oh. They been pressed by me like we lifting curls Like my man Rowdy, I'm a rough girl If you ain't about it, that's, that's tough, tough, sir Got mojo, you can ask your man jo Got mojo, you can ask your man Mojo I'm Rowdy, I'm a rough girl If you ain't about it, that's, that's tough, tough, sir Got mojo, you can ask your man Woo. Jojo, he peeped the stance, he got Got chemical romance, still I'm with the band. Got an X Factor that creates Whoa. a fan. I ain't Craig, but I'm cracking heads. Bang, Don't follow orders, no. Oh. I'm with the band. Got an X Factor that creates Whoa. a fan. I ain't Craig, but I'm cracking heads. Don't bang, follow bang. orders, no. Simeon says. Whew. You don't wanna issue, that's the truth, dear. Pop uh -huh. up like angry spores, put bruises on your face, bang, your pores, no blossom. And I like how she's doing like the first instant of it was the butter. Butter bubbling up like bubbles, and then now she gonna say blossom. Hey, 
all I can say is if you most people who are like fans of so it's it's like this I want to say this the wolf I can t like realistically right you were a fan of buttercup throughout the out of the out of all three of them you were just mostly a fan of buttercup right you can answer this if you want to because I know for a fact whenever I'm whenever I was watching Power of Puff Girls, I can admit I was a fan of Buttercup more because she just got no gift, no F given attitude where it it's like you saying it's on sight if you see it. <laughs> if you want to like she was the type of girl like she don't take from nobody. <laughs> There, pop oh. up like angry spores, put bruises on your facial Bang pores. Back. No mm. blossoms here, leave yeah. a hole bigger than an energy orb. Whoa. Hell yeah, Whoa. hell yeah, Whoa. I'm a little ghost. Sugar and spice, but I ain't that nice. Don't mean to brag, but this is my time. Beat my feet while you wait in line. Walk down the street with pep in my glide. Sugar and spice, but I ain't that nice. Color is green, that's all that's in sight. My mugging is mean, cause they wanna try. Keep them away with that evil lie. Sugar and spice, but I ain't that nice. Don't mean to brag, but this is my time. Beat my feet while you wait in line. Walk down the street with pep in my glide. Sugar and spice, but I ain't that nice. Color is green, that's all that's in sight. My mugging is mean, cause they wanna try. Keep them away with that evil lie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, shout out to the wolf. Hey, shout out to the wolf, guys. What can I say? I feel like with the wolf, you see why she was mostly on some ciphers and such. Like the most infamous ones, like with Rustage and such. Because, let's face it, with her type of, with her type of energy on a song, she'll, she'll turn it up a notch. Because with the guys, with guys, you always see they always trying to find ways how to do it. But with the girls, what can I say? It just built in them to always turn up a song to the maximum. I'm just saying. So yeah, shout out to the wolf girl. Keep on doing what you're doing. And like I said, I want to know from when you was watching this as a kid. Or you currently still is. Depending on how, you, depending on how you're answering it. Is you a, is you still a fan of out of all the three? Were you just only a fan of Buttercup, or did you like all three of them and combine, or just mostly like Buttercup? Let me know. But yeah, like I said, shout out to the wolf. She did her thing on this one. But now we on to what's the next one? A Tenjin Uzi Uzi Tengen Uzi rap in tune with Nikki tracks. Featuring Kevin, the Kevin Bennett, and Macro, the Demon Slayer rap. Y'all already know with these three, they always killing it. So, because I like how they always try to split. Like, one minute you'll see it's Kevin Bennett's song with Nikki, featuring Nikki and Macro. Then it's like you see a Nikki track. That's but does but does it really matter who puts who first? Because at the end of the day, all three, I know. But well, mostly Nikki and Kevin, y'all niggas snap harder than anybody else. But either way, let's get it. Two. Hold on now. First and foremost, let me give that, give you that 1080p respects. Hell nah, you ain't getting no. We ain't reacting to no tooth 144p in the air nah. Like, I just, I see the music, I feel the music, I am music mm. Well you can find me in the constellations Somewhere high above the sky, looking down, remember for my compilations Life is what mm. you make it, and I've been focused on my concentration I lost a couple day ones, I guess it's complicated But that's mm. okay, cause I've been focused on the future No time for the fake and future, they cry cause they sore losers Love, mm. yeah my mind is a force, I use it inside of my core The truth is they try to distort the proof with lies 
yeah But I just stick to what I know And what I know is gon' hurt I ain't worried about the wounds I guess I worry about the scars Am I my brother's keeper? Who will he push me when I'm down? I try Yo, wait, one thing I know These are like the certain nerdcore artists Like, I could like literally Put in my, like put in my car And try to like listen to Cause it's still nerdcore Don't get it twisted But with this, this makes it feel like it's not just about nerdcore, not about an artist, and it's not about like the character they're rapping about. But nine times out of ten, when they're like trying to make it about themselves, and to be honest, that's more of the nerdcore I like, where it can tell two of both things: not only about like the character or the show, but mostly about the artist, and that's what makes it more fire. Guys, yeah. But I just stick to what I know and what I know is gonna hurt I ain't worried about the wounds, I guess I worry about the scars Am I my brother's keeper? Who will he push me when I'm down? I try my best to be a leader, will they follow till I'm gone? Or will they crumble from the weight? Mm. Will they follow until I'm gone or will they crumble up, um, crumbling up of the weight? Basically saying as soon as when I'm gone, are you gonna pick it up? Or are you just gonna fall? Like, it's basically saying, like, nigga, because so, sooner or later, it's like this. When when you think about how many leaders or so-and-so, like, big things always happening, and there's always that one person in each, you can say, like, faction or importance of something, right? And they did it to the maximum they can, and they left a legacy there. And you as the up-and-comer coming up, right? Are you going to take up for them? Are you like, because as soon as when they go, as soon as when they say that they're done and such, right? What about you? Oh, sorry, I had to see if that was my phone. What about you? Are you going to like pick it up? Are you going to like keep on making it go leaps abound, leaps abound, leaps abound and such? Like keep on going up with it? Or are you just going to be complacent? Like basically... Not, mo not being motivated or try to do something about try to do more and such or you're just gonna be just forgotten down i try my best to be a leader will they follow till i'm gone or will they crumble from the way like i knew it all along remain humble it's okay i've been writing all my wrongs i jot them down when i get anxious then i put them in a song that's mm. true Never been the type to be out of tune Take some notes by my life, see I'm shining through Everybody know this music, maybe me. But just be careful when you choose to play me I would give away my sight just to keep on listening To the tones out of life and the pitch it sings I can hear what they can't Hey, I put my heart into the beat, they love the way it sounds If I surround you with the waves, don't be afraid to drown Cause they because the water form like the form and such shout out to kevin on that chorus and now we're on macro and it's like this i need to start reacting to some more I need to react to some macro because from the times that i've heard him on like where it was with i'm basically like seeing him on like with internet city right when that whenever i re watch them react to him I'm gonna be honest, I need to start reacting to him because trust me, he got some bangers. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I mean, come on now. Y'all remember me reacting to his, like, the first Demon Slayer, one of his Demon Slayer rap songs, which was the freaking Inosuke Pretty Boy <laughs> song. Like, come on now. You cannot tell me that wasn't fire and saucy at the same time. I need to start reacting to him more. In here yeah. with they can't. <laughs> Ay, I put my heart into the beat, they love the way it sounds If I surround you with the waves, don't be afraid to drown Cause they ain't really trying to hear you when they know you're down So mm. turning up, it's the only time they come around mm. Well, let me crank up the decibel I'm more than a spectacle, my respect is do all the skills are impeccable A street savvy intellectual Never do what they expect me to Flowing like water the way I'm flexible Flowing mm. like water the way I'm flexible Saying I can go in you I'm available any time. But hey. Hold on, I wanna come back. But you know one of those bars I always like is when you just talking yo ish. Right? Down, see you turning up. It's the only time they come around. 
seeing when you turn it up is the only time they come around basically saying like snakes they're just waiting for the right opportunity to strike at you when you're when it's not even when you're vulnerable when you're like at your top form and such and because god damn it if there ain't a bunch of people like that today and such god damn it it will be it's crazy they really trying to hear you when they know you're down see you turning up it's the only time, time they, they come, come around. around well let me crank up the decibel i'm more than a spectacle my respect is to all the skills are impeccable a street savvy intellectual never do what they expect me to flowing like water the way i'm flexible calling an audible telling my life story even if i do it poorly i won't let them do it for me keep building like a foreman new heights on the horizon but for now you're only looking at the floor plan let's keep it moving i got a lot to prove a little time to do it but to focus on the fam and the energy into music if my back's against the wall i'm the type to go through it and i pick the hardest path for the amusement let's go Mm. Never been the type to be out of tune Take some notes by my life, see I'm shining through Everybody know this music made me But just be careful when you choose to play me I would give mm. away my sight just to keep on listening To the tones out of life and the pitch it takes I can Ooh. hear what they can Hey This I wanna know, what's the Nikki or so, right? Nikki, Kevin, or Mac. Anyone who want to be, anyone of y'all three who are at, who like, hold on, give me this run time. Okay. So before we get into the last, last like thing on this triple threat reaction, I want to know Nikki, Kevin, and Mac. I want to know. Do y'all three have a nick like do y'all three have a name for y'all? Because a lot of times in Nerdcore there's a bunch of there's like the there's like fat there's like stables and such, like with the loop collective, the UK bias, the Otaku Underworld, Rumble World and such. Like I wanna know, do y'all three have a like have a like a stable name for y'all three? Cause trust me, sorry. Cause if y'all do, y'all need to make sure it's a y'all make sure y'all come together. Cause trust me, when it comes to music, if there's like a more than a three three person three people or more group, trust me, it can go big. Like with the Migos, like with the the Dreamville and so and so. Trust me. Anytime when there's like a three man group or possibly more people, trust me, sometimes the group goes big. So, with y'all three, if y'all do have a name, make sure y'all keep that shit together. Cause trust me, y'all always find a way how to kill it. Cause y'all always come with good chemistry on a song. No matter who, no matter whose songs it is, as long as you three are in it together, it always is a hit. Garen damn T. So shout out to all three of y'all. But yeah, on to the last one now, which is oh, a Luffy rap AMV. That's so crazy with Breton Boy. So thank you. Ooh. Yo, hey, hey, that's right. It's your boy. Beating boy on the track. I really got a certain type of presence when I enter room. Left wrist, right wrist, shining bright as enter room. I see Shorty get up out of seat to get a better view. Asking hella questions about me, girl, this ain't no interview. She just started talking and I said, that's crazy. Everybody blowing on my phone, that's crazy. All black fit and I'm lit, that's crazy. Hey, they still hitting wild, that's so crazy. That's so, uh, I just can't believe it. 20 years young, bro, and look what I'm achieving. They say leave that music beating, where you finna be at? Swimming mm. in the blue, so I'm glad I did my feet in Cause I was in complacent with living my basic life as it seems Used to stay awake thinking of ways that I could succeed I mm. been jumping through hoops, I feel like Sega in the 90s Where I went ahead and turned these little nights into dreams What that means? That means now, now hear me out when I say this now Honest to God, these are the types of songs I like No matter if it's nerdcore, no matter if it's mainstream Nothing like that, right? Where you're basically being saucy, but being savage at the same time. Where 
where nigga, you know how much you put in the work. And the fact that he's saying he's 20 years young, 20 years old, and he's doing that sh and look at all of his achieving. Trust me, nigga. The fact that you is 20 and you doing this shit. Hey. I'm 22, nigga. So the fact that you doing something like this at 20. Hey, shout out to you, my boy. Keep on doing what you're doing. Because trust me, a lot, a lot of, and not even just artists and such, just people in general. A lot of people don't get certain success just that easily. And I'm not saying you didn't get it easily and such. You had to work for it. Trust me. I mean, for goodness sakes, if two years ago when DPS did in like a little interaction or so with with internet city and if he didn't say that she wasn't next up in nerdcore or hell you even said it in the uk bias song with rustage in them that you saying you was up at, you was next up in nerdcore trust me if people didn't believe you when you said it then and if they don't see how you've been putting in that work since then then something was wrong with them not with you. In the BF, swimming in the blue, so I'm glad I did my feet. Cause I wasn't complacent with living my basic life as it seems. Used to stay awake thinking of ways that I could succeed. I've been jumping through hoops. I feel like Sega in the 90s where I went ahead to turn these little nights into dreams. What that mean? That means that I made it on the main stage. Smash Bros, we gon' turn your spot into a melee. Smash Bros, we gon' turn your spot into a bro. All you hear is wee wee when I'm pulling up a four. Are you going to hear it? When I'm pulling out the four. Smash bros, we gon' turn your spot into a bra. All you hear is wee wee when I'm pulling out the four. I'm really popping with number one top in my roots and the devils are getting me lit. Moving like Sonic and I'm never stopping. The more that I wanted, the faster I get. You go and this. Y'all already know how I feel about the fast rapping. <laughs> and it's like this. There's nothing. And it's not saying I don't hate fast rapping. Not whatsoever. But it's like this. It's like what other rappers do when. They hear other when they hear another rapper doing this is when they're rapping so fast where they're not even trying to make it make sense they're just rapping fast to rap fast because you don't really hear what they're saying you hear they're just trying to rap the same thing well not rap and when i mean rap the same thing they like they always try to rap a syllable like saying they so lyrical, spiritual, miracle, do like something like that, right? They try to want to make it sound the same. But it's like this. With school phrase John, right? He will whenever he's gonna do like a fast rapping, right? He it would sound so clear. Like even with his type of accent, because you know he Nigerian and also you know they're gonna have sometimes they're gonna have that deep, deep like voice and such, but nine times out of ten with him he switches it up. But what I learned, but any time when I'm watching Schoolface, right? He, in a way, he's like my, like, you know how Professor Curl with him, he's like the anime professor and such. With Schoolface, he can be like my music professor. Because with him, I can learn a whole lot about music and such. So, with with the way how Britain is fast rapping right now, it's clear. I can, he, I can, it's clear to me. I can actually hear what he's saying, and this shit is making sense. So, talk your shit. We gon' turn your spot into a bra. All you hear is wee wee when I'm pulling up the floor. I'm really popping with number one top in my roots, and the devils are getting me lit. Moving like Sonic, and I'm never stopping. The more that I wanted, the faster I get. You put the money, I find it so funny, cause you said my plan ain't making no sense. Now you're the one who ain't making no sense. What do you think about that? Ooh. And he's talking his shit in this. You're the one who. Hold up. Go back. Moving like Sonic, and I'm never stopping the more. I want it the faster I get it. You got no money, I find You got no money, I find that so funny. So funny cause you said my plan ain't Cause you said my plot ain't making no sense. Cause that's how a hater always be. Making no sense. Now you the one Now you the one ain't making no sense. Like no money. You ain't making no sense. What do you think about that? Hey <clears throat> my bag's so big. I can't even find another bag that I could even fit it in. Damn. If that ain't such a flexing bar right there. <laughs> My bag's so big, I can't even find another bag to fit this bitch in. I know he didn't say bitch in, but you see what it says there, but I'm just putting in my sense in there, like, nigga. 
this is how much I've been working that nigga my money my, I don't wanna make it turn like into that ham sandwich the leg anthology my money my money long to pick but hey basically going into saying with Britain this nigga getting his money up so much that nigga one bag ain't even enough or not even another bag ain't even enough you need you gonna have to put that bitch in the house or a safe or something Think about that hey my bag so big I can't even find another bag that i could even fit it in to you it's figure of speech i'm getting figures for speech you pay the f oh now that's good wordplay to you that's a figure of speech to me i'm putting figures hold on Need to get here hold on hold on go back to that that was a good little word flip right there good little word play and a flip could even fit it in to you it's to you it's figure of speech figure of speech i'm getting i'm getting figures for speech come on now talk damn money nigga figures for speech you paid a fee to get here and not a pay for a fee you pay a fee to get here i I appear four feet, nigga. The flips on them shits. If that's not flexing, I don't know what is. So homie, we are not the same. Don't try comparing to me. Nope. If you mm. want me to be honest, you ain't even a reach. I'm setting mm. records each week. The type you cannot repeat. There'll be a room and could never be me. Never. Cause I really got a certain type of presence when I enter room. Yeah. Left wrist, right wrist, shining bright as enter room. Yeah. I see Shorty get up out of seat to get a better view. Asking hella questions about me, girl. This ain't no interview. interview. She just started talking and I said, that's crazy. Yeah. Everybody blowing on my phone. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. crazy. All black fit and I'm lit. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Hey, they still hitting wild. Yeah. That's, that's so crazy. crazy. That's so crazy, 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 crazy. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. Thank you. That's so crazy. Hey. All I gotta say is talk y'all y'all was from freaking hold on. To Buttercup. I mean to the wolf. To Nikki and to Britain. Y'all went so crazy on this song. Cause yeah, not only y'all was talking y'all ish, which I do like in a song all the time. But hey. But it's like this at the end of the day, with Nerdcore, you can never go wrong with somebody. Cause with them, I've always said it, I'ma keep on saying it. It's always gonna they're up to that level where they're at they could be at the same level or possibly more and that mainstream but you know what it's like this I've been talking so much about it right and it's like this at the end of this month August right it's gonna be my one year anniversary of coming like reacting because Basically, it's going to be my one year anniversary, right, of coming into the Nerdcore community. So, you know what? That's when I'm going to make that video. Like, and I'm going to basically going to title it my first year experience with Nerdcore. That's what I'm going to do. Because, because if since last year I started react last year at the end of August that I started reacting to Nerdcore. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the video back back. So, hey, all I got to say is for all Nerdcore artists, all the Nerdcore people in, basically the whole entire Nerdcore community, if you would, I would appreciate it if you watch it. Watch it. I would appreciate it if you watch it for me. God damn, my words. But yeah, hope everybody will turn out for it. So, I don't care if I put it live or just as a video. One way or another, I'm going to show you, I'm going to, it's going to be no filter, I mean, no, no edits or anything, like you always see in my reactions, just pure, raw me talk, just pure, unedited, nothing, just me talking to y'all, as it is, but yeah, like I said, shout out to everybody on this triple threat, man, y'all went crazy, and such, but y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below, it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Let go.